Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. Um, I was just out in the yard doing a couple things. It is yucky and rainy and cloudy. And um, I wanted to show you guys, for anybody that doesn't deal with pests, what they do to all of your hard work. And boy, my hair right here. Look at that. Why is it like that? What have I done? So I noticed that my day, day lilies were starting to bloom and I was like, oh, and I came to look at them and let me show you what I found. So you can see here, we've got some day lilies that are blooming and these ones are yellow and they're absolutely beautiful. But what else I want you to notice is all of the day lilies that got eaten and we will not have. And then I noticed here, oh, well, they must have dropped that, right? So they obviously were munching off all of this here. And they missed one of the daylilies right here. But the front yard is looking beautiful. I just had the hose out because I was putting water into my fountain. It wasn't working and I couldn't figure out why. And we actually don't have power right now. That's why it wasn't working. So I figured, uh, let me take you guys really quick just through the front yard because we didn't look at the front yard this last time. So let's take a look. I do not remember what color these lilies are, but I cannot wait. And my favorite pots this year that I designed are these pots right here. Purple is my favorite color. And you can tell it's rainy and crappy. And these geraniums are finally blooming. These are the geraniums that my husband grew from seed. So super excited there. And then here is my cum salsa with me. And look at how good everything is doing in here. And what do we spy there? But a little jalapeno there. And it looks like another little jalapeno there. Um, we do have lots of blossoms on the tomatoes. Um, the onions seem as if they're doing pretty well. You can see this is the top of the onion right here. They look much better than the onions that are in the back. And I probably shouldn't have pulled him out like that. And the tomatoes, you look at the stalks. These, this is by far the best that any of my vegetables are doing. And the uh, cilantro is doing amazing. So cilantro here. The basil is doing pretty dang good too. You can see we've got this basil here. So uh, this stuff is doing good. And let's take a look. We have got a peony that bloomed that is absolutely beautiful. I've actually got a wire cage in the back or a metal cage that I'm gonna bring up. And look at how beautiful that peony is. And it is very pretty right here next to this lily. And you can see that we have got lilies getting ready to bloom here. I still need to plant this poor little clearance plant right here. And um, I was just kind of seeing how he was doing, but you can see he's got some new growth here. And this is a rock and roll, a stible, I don't know, what is that? A stilbe, a stilb? I don't know. So, and you can see all of the lilies. We've got lots of color. And then take a look here. Obviously somebody was here munching and having a snack. So definitely have some of the animals eating. You can see right here this columbine. Somebody ate it all the way off. <laughs> but it's just one of those things that you deal with when you live in an area like me. And these are doing beautiful. I know this one got eaten, I think yesterday or the day before. You can see right here all of these flowers got eaten off there. And so you just have to deal with it. Look at the lilies there and look at that columbine. So beautiful. And these right here are doing amazing. They seem to like it here. So we've got all of this. Oh, look at, there's some yellow lilies. They're getting buried by these daisies here, but look at those lilies, gorgeous. And everything here is looking good. I'm so happy that these are finally blooming. And these, I don't know what to do for these. I don't know if I should just pinch that top off. I probably should. And let me show you guys. And these right here, these marigolds, these are the marigolds I grew from seed. Look at how much bigger these are than the marigolds that I got at the store. So we've got all kinds of stuff. We still have that huge columbine there, but you can see something ate off of it as well. So we've got all of this here 
Things are still doing really good. And a look at that loop in there. Ooh, there's a new flower coming. So excited. There's a couple more good. Do you see this right here? <laughs> That's where somebody ate it. So we definitely deal with that. Isn't this flower just the most beautiful thing? Look at it just going in the wind. I love all the different color variations. The chives are starting to turn. So need to get those cleaned up. And you can tell the front of this pot right here that something was munching on it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here we go. Remember, I did not see that those got pulled out. They're probably too long gone. But those went, those came from right there. We're going to put them in there. I don't think they'll survive. But this is what I get for not checking it this morning when I got home. But some mornings when I get home at 7 o'clock in the morning after working a 12-hour night shift, I just want to go to bed. I'm not even going to worry about that. We're just going to leave it. So it'll be fine. This, like I said, is part of living where I live. I need to come deadhead this. Look at all of those there. Let's take a look here. This is a little snowball bush right here that they keep eating on. And we think we're going to actually move this to the back because we want some more height over here. Look at how beautiful all of the lilacs are doing. These lilacs cost us zero dollars and zero cents because we got them from the back. Then these daylilies are getting ready to explode. Look at how tall these ones are. And so we've got our first bloom there. So they are an orange lily. We have got all of these daisies that are getting ready to bloom. We've got some creeping thyme over here that is creeping and looking beautiful. And I actually have some more stuff back here that these daylilies and stuff have gotten so big that I think I'm going to need to move that sedum. And your girl still has not weeded from right here to right there. I don't know what my problem is. The other thing, the only other thing left in the front of the yard is this bri these bricks right here. I'm going to go ahead and put those next to the path right here. And where all of this dirt was, Peyton just took bricks to the backyard that were extras, so we need to get this leveled out. And a lot of this in this flower bed is brand new. And not all of it, of course, but anything from the rocks forward is pretty much brand new. So we are doing pretty dang good. And look at that clematis. Just beautiful. That one's so pretty. It's got so many flowers on it. And we've got the dark purple clematis and my lilies. I think the freeze for the lilies really messed up certain varieties of lilies because these do not have any heads on them whatsoever. And we've got some lilies that bloomed there and I see one red one still alive back there. And then we've got this beautiful clematis and he is the big one and he's got those and look at he's all the way up to the roof line but he doesn't have as many bulbs. We also have some browning down at the bottom um, told maybe too much water and so I've been trying to limit the water on him. And then we have got the porch, which is kind of a mess because, you know, I was working on it. I got a box. I got some stuff I'm working on. Still working on drip line. There's the hanging baskets. The one in the middle, it's got some sort of bug infestation. So just fabulous. And then we've got that one. And you can see that we are just enjoying life here in the garden. If only the pests weren't here to pest up and mess up everything. Let me show you guys this basket right here. I forgot to tell you, this was covered in aphids. So your girl, I just cut it all the way back. I tried, I did the water, I did all of that. They weren't getting any better. And you can tell something just came and ate all of this potato root that was sitting in the middle. So we're just gonna let this sit here and we're gonna see how it does. So uh, that gives you a little bit there. I guess one thing we didn't show you is how the side yard's doing. Like I said, we did the backyard. Side yard is doing really good. We planted a brand new clematis back there. It's tiny, so of course it doesn't have any flowers. But let's go ahead and move back here. How have the bugs been in your guys' area? The mosquitoes here this year have been atrocious. I think it's because the weather is not super hot. So let's take a look. So here is the side yard, looking pretty good. Um, this, of course, should have flowers. Those lilies look like they're not going to bloom. My gate is trying to close in on me. And look at these. Aren't these just beautiful? And the roses are doing good because the deer can't eat them in here. Oh, look at those purple explosion. I love these. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
we've got some more roses. Look at some little pink ones. And so we're doing pretty good. Oh, these day lilies look like they're getting ready to bloom. Look at those little baby lilies there. Amazing. And this is our brand new columbine right here. Or brand new clematis, I should say. And right through there. And look at somebody's pushed his way through the gate, getting over here where they shouldn't be. So we've got to be careful with that. I would like for this to be so full that it looks like this right here. You can see how full this is. And if I'm not careful, this ground cover right here, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It will take over everything. If you look in here, you can see it's back in here. It's back in there. And while I love it, I don't want it to take over everything. Yeah, these are just gorgeous this year. Look at there's a daddy long leg in there. That's <laughs> it, you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you, like I said, I've got no power. I saw what my pests were doing. I'm pretty sure those were probably deer. If it was moose, um, they usually eat the tree as well. And we've got branches down on the tree, but I don't see any of those. So uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys are doing amazing. And remember, until I see you guys next time, keep on smiling. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. Um, this is probably going to be an addition to the video I just filmed yesterday. Came out this morning and we were talking about pests. Let me show you the difference. So it's obvious the deer got in here last night. So all of the petunias that were flowered are gone out of this pot. You can see this pot as well and this pot and over here is where they got quite a bit luckily they didn't pull any of them out so no no harm no foul you can see they ate this here and even this here so like i said that's the joy of living where i live so it's just one of those things i might try to spray some stuff because now that they've found it if i don't they're not going to leave it alone so maybe i'll try the hot pepper spray or the irish spring trick um you know different things like that all right everybody i'll talk to you later